Pancreatic cancer is the third leading cause of cancer-related deaths here in the United States, according to published reports. It also has the lowest survival rate among the most common cancer diagnoses. Mm -hmm. Lisa Niemi Swayze is one of many people impacted by this disease after the passing of her husband, Patrick Swayze, in 2009. He was just 57 years old. Patrick was a beloved actor around the world, most known for his icon iconic performance in the 1987 hit movie, Dirty Dancing. His passing was a pivotal moment for the disease that has affected. Other high profile names, including Jeopardy's Alex Trebek, Ruth Bader Ginsburg and Michael Landon. Lisa Nami Swayze joins us now on how she's using her platform to raise awareness and ultimately end pancreatic cancer. It is such a pleasure to meet you. Yes, hey, good yes, to meet you too. Yeah. Yes. I wonder, we just played the song from Dirty Dancing. Do you ever grow tired of hearing that song? What sort of emotion? Of, of, of course not. Yeah. yeah. It's, a, it's such a wonderful song and we get to hear it a lot. Yeah. But also, I. What's really special is when I hear She's Like the Wind with Aww. Patrick singing. Yeah. yeah. And that's always a very positive, magical thing for me. I bet. I bet. Yeah. So I have to say that your, before any of this, I always knew that your love story was like one of the best love stories mm -hmm. known to humanity. You met your husband, your late husband, um, <laughs> at his mom's dance school yes. in Texas. Yeah. What was the secret to keeping this relationship so wonderful for all those years, especially when you were young? When I was 15, sheesh, <laughs> oh, yes. I could barely keep, you know, my schoolwork together, never mind, you know, a relationship. relationship right? Yes. <laughs> uh, when, when we first got married, I went, you know, we're really young. <laughs> <laughs> and, and you're still changing so much. And, and uh, it turned out to be the right choice. We were very lucky with that. And we always said, you know, hey, the way you stay together is you stay together, you don't leave. Right. And you know, you work on things, you work it out, and if you wait five minutes, it'll change. You know, we, we went through our ups and downs, and of course we were in a life that was extremely stressful sometimes. Right, right. Yeah, and uh, you know, we just hung in there. But I think basically down deep, you know, we loved each other, yeah. and we really understood each other, and that was really special. Yeah. I like that if you wait five minutes, things will change yeah, because that's definitely. actually yeah. very true. Very true. Yeah. Give yourself a, a beat yeah. and then come yeah. back to it. But ultimately, love was the foundation. Oh, for sure. Yeah. That's for sure. And yeah. I, in particular, I, I really saw the truth of that after he passed away, mm -hmm. you know, and that uh, it's like a, it's interesting because, and Patrick always and, and I always joke that we were learning how. Trying to figure out if we got along or not, <laughs> <laughs> you know, because yeah. we could both be pretty passionate, yeah. tough kids, right. and um, uh, I don't forgot what was going with that. But anyway, well, that's no, what he used but to the, always But say. that's what he always used to say. You know, it's uh, you. They obviously, you know, you had this wonderful relationship, mm -hmm. and we're here talking about pancreatic cancer. And I know that disease is different for different people. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But I wonder if you could talk to us a little bit about um, what you noticed in your ex-husband before he was diagnosed. Your late, excuse me, excuse me. <laughs> Sorry, Patrick, your late husband. Yeah. Um, before he was diagnosed, because I, I, I often wonder, you know, my father died of stomach cancer. Yeah. And I wonder if, if I was cognizant of what the symptoms were, yeah. would I had done anything differently? Yeah. And oh, I think yeah. people at home who have loved ones or who are suffering themselves, you yeah. know, what, what is it that we're looking for? Well, you know what? This is one of the things that's really tough about pancreatic cancer because the symptoms are generally very vague mm -hmm. until it becomes advanced. Mm -hmm. And it's one of the things that Pancreatic Cancer Action Network is working on so diligently is for early detection. Because then you have a chance to get in there with all guns blazing. But generally, by the time you see symptoms, it's already become mm. into an advanced stage. It's, you could, could be yellowing of the eyes, and that's what happened with Patrick. You know, it could be a, a stomach, lower back pain mm -hmm. that, that won't go away, that's nagging and won't go away. Uh, diabetes, you're more susceptible to it. Genetics, you're more susceptible to it. Yeah. And one of the things that's so tough about this disease is it's so individualized. Right. Mm -hmm. And so... It's so different for everybody and their whole reasons. We're still finding out what causes it. Yeah. Possible smoking, yeah. you know, so there's all of the above. Yeah. And it could be none of the above, depending on who you are. Yeah. It's yeah. tough. Yeah. And, and some of the risk factors that are potentially associated with it. Like, what do you mean risk factors? 
like pretty much essentially what we're dealing with like once we once we do have that diagnosis oh it's tough yeah. because like like I said when Patrick uh, found out that he had pancreatic cancer we were in the hospital and I knew before he did but I didn't want to tell him mm -hmm. because he had just come out of procedure to confirm it yeah and he was really it's pretty loopy mm -hmm. I didn't want to tell I thought, didn't think that was the time yeah. to tell him and you know I slept in the hospital, we woke up, the doctor was there, and I knew that the doctor had just told him. Mm. And I didn't know much about pancreatic cancer, but he did. And after the doctor left the room, he turned to me and said, I'm a dead man. Oh, gosh. Mm. But, and the doctor said, hey, I don't want to be negative, but you, you'd be wise to get all your affairs, affairs in order. In order. Yeah. Yeah. And he says, well, you could, we can fight this, and uh, of course, Patrick's not about to give up a fight very easily. Yeah, yeah. Everything that you see on screen, <laughs> he, you know, he's a hero, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah. And he's a, he is one, he is a tough guy. Yeah. And uh, we were going to go in uh, and fight this thing with everything we had. He, he was lucky enough to get into a clinical trial, mm -hmm. which I would really highly suggest anybody who who's going is through it now. Going through it, like pancan.org, they. Uh, offer incredible patient services that could turn you on to clinical trials because and I actually wanted to turn I wanted to yeah. talk about that because PanCan is doing amazing things mm -hmm. right now yeah not mm -hmm. only raising awareness um, but also getting folks involved yeah. can you talk to us about that because there's an event happening we're on Saturday <laughs> <laughs> yes. on Saturday we have this is our biggest push of the year uh, it's called Purple Stride mm -hmm. you can find it online just Google Purple Stride yep. You can still register, or you can participate in any way, you can donate, but it's our, our biggest push of the year and it raises a tremendous amount of much needed funds sure. yeah. for this disease. And everybody shows up in purple. <laughs> I was gonna say, star you at least. You Hello. are, yeah. exactly. You sat down and I was automatically drawn to it. I'm like, yes. Yes, I yes. Need those. <laughs> yeah, so that's, that's gonna be on Saturday. And the thing that's kind of remarkable about it and how this is organized, is that it's in 60 cities across the United States. That's amazing. All on the same day. Yay! Amazing. Yeah, <laughs> super cool. Yeah. And, and I tell you what, the people who show up at these uh, walks, of course, there are a lot of patients, there are loved ones, and it's, they're just a special breed because it's a heartbreaking disease. And for yeah, them to yeah. stick in there and advocate takes a special personality. Mm -hmm. And they show up with so much passion and this kind of celebratory joy. Sure. And commitment yeah and it's uh, for me you know it's asked to come to the one in New York City yeah. which I've did, done before sure. and it's 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 an honor to be a part of them and it's an honor to, wonderful to talk to you because yes. you are one of those people so thank you so much <laughs> for fighting the good fight thank you and for joining us this morning thank you thank good you luck. very much good luck. Check it out. yeah yeah, of course, there is still time to register for PanCan Purple Stride happening this weekend. All you have to do is head over to purplestride.org backslash NYC for more information and just sign up. Just sign up. That's <laughs> it. It's that easy.